Now, in this seventh question, under the tutorial questions 2020-2021, um, and these questions are drawn from the elementary, differential, and integral calculus, we are asked to evaluate this limit as x tends to 1 of x minus 1 all upon x squared minus 6x plus 5. Now, the method we are going to use here first is to use the factor method to factorize this quadratic expression at the denominator. So we are going to start with the factorization of this denominator here. So we'll put it here, x squared minus 6x plus 5. Now, since we know we are going to use the factor method, we have to introduce our brackets here, and then we have x squared in the first term in the bracket. We have to put our x and our x. Now, how do we get the remaining factors in the bracket? All we have to do is to take this x squared, x squared, and multiply it by 5, which is plus 5. The result it's going to give to us is plus 5x squared. So we are going to look for two factors such that if we multiply them, it gives us plus 5x squared. And if we add them up, it gives us minus 6x. Now, what are the factors of 5? We have 5 and 1. And frankly speaking, these are the only factors that we have here. So what do we do to these factors? First, we come to the middle term, minus 6x. This minus goes to the big factor. And for the fact that the product sign here is plus, it tells us that the factors will have the same signs. So if here is minus 5, here we have to be what? Minus 1. So therefore, we take this minus 5 and minus 1 and plant them here, minus 5 and minus 1. So there you have it, you have factorized this. Now with these factors down, we are now going to evaluate this. So we can say, therefore, the limb as x tends to 1 of x minus 1 all upon x squared minus 6x plus 5 would now be equals to x minus 1 all divided by, now we'll replace this quadratic expression um, with these factors. So we have x minus 5 and x minus 1. So you can see that the x minus 1 at the numerator will cancel the x minus 1 at the denominator. So with this, we can have finally 1 upon x minus 5. Now at this point, we are going to substitute the value for x, which is 1, into this place here. So which means we are going to have 1 divided by 1 minus 5. And if we simplify this, we are going to have 1 upon minus 4 as the answer to this question. So this is the answer to this question. I believe.